Has artificial intelligence gone too far? So nowadays we all see chat GPT and all these different AIs and artificial intelligence that make our lives way easier. That's dope. That's great. I personally use a bunch of different AIs to help speed up my processes in life. If, for example, I'm editing a video or I want this and there's an AI that will automatically cut certain audio files for me and make it a little cleaner, sure, why not? It saves me some time in the effort of grunt work going through it when an AI can just go through it itself. That's dope. I think that's great. But something that I've started to think about is, has artificial intelligence already gone too far in where we're going to enter a very interesting and dangerous society? Something that I've recently thought about is that in education, when we're learning, when you're in school, what is the point of a calculator to speed up your formulas? So you don't have to do these long-winded calculations all by yourself. For simple mental math to be a little quicker to make sure you're correct. That makes sense. But at the end of the day, mental math has fallen ever since the invention of the calculator. People can't do percentages in their head, really. But I know adults who are 50 and older who are doing percentages in their head. And I wonder as to why. I'm like, how do you know how to do that? That's weird. But to me, as a 25-year-old, I'm like, wait, okay, this makes a lot of sense now. I see that you're basically doing it this way because you were taught this way. Even when you think about libraries. I remember when I was younger, when Wikipedia was not a source, but Wikipedia was using sources. So I was always so confused as to why I couldn't use it. They're like, go get a book, check it out and use it and read the physical book so that you can use it as a source. Because online sources weren't seen as, as reputable. But now it's all online sources and they're all reputable. Use a journal, .edu, advanced search. But the more we see how artificial intelligence is advancing, the more we tend to think, okay, so if everything is becoming easier and easier and easier through the internet, at what point is it going to be where the AI is basically doing all of the grunt work for us so we stop thinking? So for example, with a calculator, at least you're thinking about what needs to be plugged in. But with ChatGPT, it's able to create these stories. It's able to answer pretty intelligently what you need to say about in an essay. It'll do the research for you. It'll do the grunt work for you. The amount of thinking will start to diminish. Then in the future with our future generations, are they really going to have thinking as a skill that's high up there? I don't know. And I really don't think so. Because even educators are having trouble thinking, okay, how do we regulate AI? Do we allow them to use ChatGPT to help them in their knowledge and help them in their school system? Or do we not? There's going to get to a problem or get to a point where they're going to use AI as much as they can, but again, it's only going to get better and better and better. And obviously the end goal is what singularity, where this robot is literally thinking and communicating with you like a human, but it's not a human. It's a literal robot. And then they're creating all these robots that'll pick up things and move things and do things, right? Now imagine you had that chat GPT brain inside of that. Then what? You're creating again, this little cyborg. Then there's things like Neuralink. Well, they'll put a thing in your brain so you can literally Google in your brain. I personally am terrified about when that happens. Because again, are you really a human or are you basically a cyborg, right? You're basically not 100% human because you've done something to your body and brain that has now put you into this like robot plus human realm. And this is something to worry about. And people have literally said, the people who run an AI have been like, hey, we should probably take a step back. Hey, we should probably not do this anymore. Hey, we need to take a break or we should pause this. Have they paused anything? No, they haven't. And again, this is where the danger of AI comes in, where again, AI is going to take a lot of people's jobs. Why would we need an editor when you can have an AI edit something for you? Why have someone drive this truck when the truck could drive itself? Why have someone who can pick you up for the airport and be a taxi driver when a car that drives itself can come pick you up and drop you off exactly the same? So again, it comes down to this interesting dilemma where has AI already gone too far and is it already too late to pull the plug? What happens to all the people? What happens to the people who don't want the chip in their brain? What happens to all the people who don't want to entertain this? What happens to them in society? Do they become alienated? Even things like the metaverse and things like when you wear the glasses and the VR headsets, you're literally going to be living in a whole new world. Even the Apple headset where you're able to create desktops like this in your head. You're able to relive memories on your photos. It's like a live video in front of you. At some point, there is a danger to this. Our brains were not designed for this type of dopamine rush. Our brains were not designed for this simple, easy life. Step by step, it looks like we're entering Wally, -E, right? And I know people see this, but like, what is an average everyday person supposed to do to stop this? But something that I think that we could all do is again, find things that make us human and work around things that make us human. Get into careers that are again, are future proof. Get into different things that will prepare you for the future because the future is looking more and more bleak if we don't try to solve and work around this. Use AI. AI should help us make other things easier and put us into having tasks happen that we want to spend time doing. 
spending time with our family, etc. But again, AI may or may not have stepped into this really dangerous zone of, is it just helping us or is it going to destroy us in the long run? Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll be sure to talk about AI and all these different type of things a little more often and kind of get more specific. But again, this is a broad thing that I kind of see with AI. I'm like, yo, there's a problem here. Who's solving it? If there's any other things you guys want me to dive into deeper with AI, please let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share it to all your friends. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you next week. See you later.